everyone, welcome back to another episode of Login Helps. In today's video, I'm going to help you learn how to add status on ClickUp. Watch the video till the end without skipping and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button. Press the bell icon so that YouTube will notify you whenever we post a new video. Now, let's start by logging into your ClickUp account. Type in app.clickup.com and search. Sign into your ClickUp account if you are not. Once you're signed in, you can easily add a status on ClickUp. Status are steps that tasks go through, commonly known as workflows. Your status can be customized down to the list level in ClickUp, but defaults for status can be set at the folder and spaces level. Adding a status on ClickUp helps with your productivity. Now let's begin. In order to add a status on ClickUp, hover over to the space bar on the top left hand side of your screen. Once you expand your spacebar, click on the ellipsis next to the space you'd like to edit. Now, from the expanded menu, select Space Settings. From the pop-up, select Task Status. Now, here you can make your desired changes. You'll be able to see an Add Status button. Simply click on the Add Status option and enter a status for your ClickUp. Once you do that, you'll be able to enter a status inside your to-do list. You can keep adding more by clicking on the Add Status button and then entering your status. You can also customize your status by changing the font colors by picking one from the color box. If you want to rename a status, you can click on this three dots at the right corner and click on Rename and continue making edits to your status. If you want to get rid of a status, then you can click on Delete Status and a status will be removed. After you make your change, don't forget to save it by clicking on Review Changes. Now, finally click on Save Changes. And that is how you can add status on your ClickUp account. I hope you found the video to be helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down in the comment box if you have a question or a feedback for us. I'll be back soon with more tutorial episodes. Goodbye till then.